Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll talk about the solution for RMO twenty twenty three problem three. So you basically have some two conditions. So you like M and N are two natural numbers such that M less than N and S of N squared equals to M and S of M squared equals to N. Like when you see like two things are related to each other in this way, it's sort of obvious to think about size. Like when my uh. Also, like by size, I mean like S of n is usually, or I think like almost always, uh, less than n, right? So S of n square will be less than n for most n. That's what your intuition says. So you have that like m is less than n from this way. But if you think about the other way, you have S of m square will be less than m for most m, which means n will be less than m for most m. But what does our question say? m is less than n. So that is the uh, idea of a solution. Like that is what you uh, motivate with. So if we see, like if we take a weak bound, m, let's say m is greater than 10,000. Sorry, 10 to the power 5, not 10,000. Then uh, S of M is at max uh, like 45. This implies S of M square is at max 2025. Sorry. No, no, no. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so basically what I meant to do was if M is greater than 10 to the power 5, then if you consider S of M, right? Let's say M has K digits. So S of M will be at max 9K. So S of M square is at max 81K square. This implies N is less than 81K square. Uh, and, uh, you also have that M is greater than like one zero 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 less than M where these are K digits totally K minus one zeros. So if you show that, uh, 81 K square is less than one zero zero zero, then you get N less than 81 K square less than, uh, 10 to the power K less than M, which is a contradiction because M should be less than N, but here you get N is less than M like the other way around. Right? So this is true for K greater than equals to six. Is that true for five as well? Let's see for five, you will have 81 into 25. So 8,100 by four, uh, which is roughly 2025. And then you have, yeah. So this is actually true for like four digits as well. So, sorry, five. So like for K greater than equals to five, this thing is true that N will be less than M. That is 81 K square will be less than uh, 10 to the power K. Uh, unless I'm messing this up. So 10 to the power K is like one, zero, three, four, five. Oh, okay. It should be 10 to the power k minus 1 if you want to have k digits. Right. I see the mistake. So when you have like k digits, so m will be uh, greater than 10 to the power k minus 1, like 10 and like k minus 1 zeros followed by 1. That is 10 to the power k minus 1. So when k equals to, let's say, 5, 5, yeah. Then 10 to the power k minus 1 equals to 1, 0. 0, 0, 0. And yeah, 81 K square equals to 81 into 25, which is 2025. Yes. So this inequality holds, which means that M has at most four digits. Uh, you can show for K greater than equals to six that this inequality holds easily. 
So M has at most four digits. Let's see what happens at K equals to four. 81 K square equals to 81 into 16, which is uh, calculation. 1296. And then the K minus one is thousand. So yeah, you have to do some stuff for that. Okay. So see what you have got now is M has at most four digits, which means M is less than equals to nine, 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 nine. This implies S of M is at most, uh, 36, right? Uh, which means that, uh, nine into four S of M square is at most okay, calculation. So 18, 36, 216, 108, 1296. So this implies N is less than equals to 1296. And we know that M is less than N. Uh, yeah. So this implies M is less than 1296. So this implies S of M will be at most, uh, it can be at most like, Twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven, which implies S of M square is less than equal to seven eighty-four. So this implies N is less than equal to seven eighty-four. Like keep in mind that S of M square equals to N. So this implies M is less than seven eighty-four, which implies S of M is now less than equals to uh, twenty-five. No. Yeah, 25. So which implies S of M square is less than equal to 625. So N is less than 625. Uh, you keep on doing this. It's like slightly boring stuff. But then you get M is less than equals to 23. So S of M is less than Sorry, you get that M is less than 625. So S of M is less than equals to uh, 23. So S of M square is less than equals to 576. No, no, not 576. I think it should be 529. 2346, uh, 529. So N is less than equals to 529. Okay. So now the thing is, uh, we know that M and N are perfect squares. Right. So N can be 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 125, uh, no, not 125. 121, 144, 169, 196. Why are there so many squares? 225, 256, 289, 324, 361, 400, 441, 484, and 529. Okay. So what we do is, let's say N is 1. This implies S of N is equals to 1. S of n square is 1. This implies m equals to 1, which is a contradiction. So this does not work. n equals to 4. S of n square equals to 16, which is equals to m, which is a contradiction. n equals to 9. So we just go over each cases. I'm not speaking. I'm just like doing the case bash so that you can see. Uh, keep in mind that m should be like less than n. So that's what we are doing. Uh, okay, I, we can just see like directly. I don't have to write now. 4 plus 9 is 13. Squares 169. Let me just take the question once more. S of n square equals to m and m should. Yeah, I'm doing correct. 
टेन हंड्रेड नाइन एटी वन वन ओके सो नाउ फॉर दिस केस लेट सी एन इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सो दिस एम्प्लाइज एस ऑफ एन मस्ट बी वट डू यू से वन सो एस ऑफ एन स्क्वेर इक्वल टू वन सो एम इज वन नाउ एस ऑफ एम स्क्वेर is one but this should be equals to n so this is a contradiction too so this does not work so you have to see both phase okay so for 121 you get m to be 16 so this does not work for this you get 81 does not work 169 you get 256 okay so this works so see n is 169 so this implies s of n Squared is sixteen squared, which is two fifty six. This is m. And now s of m squared is ah thirteen squared, which is one sixty nine, which is equal to n. So you get that n comma m can be one sixty nine comma two fifty six. Oh, okay, sorry, this does not work because ah uh, m is greater than n, but m should be less than n. So this does not work. But this tells you that two fifty six comma one sixty nine would work. we will see that we we'll, that case will come as well so for 196 you have 10 16 256 so no 225 9 81 like m is 81 for that does not work 256 yeah for now 256 let's see when n is 256 s of n is 13 so m is 169 s of m is 16 so n is 256 so this works and m is less than n as well so m comma n equals to 169 256 this is a valid pair so this works let's see the other thing for this thing uh, 10 19 m comes out to be 361 which is wrong for this m comes out to be 81 which does not work m equals to 1900 uh, does not work m equals to 16 does not work M equals to eighty one. M equals to sixteen three twenty four five nine. Uh, okay, M equals to hmm two fifty six twelve sixteen. So N should be equals to one sixty nine. Let's not go. Okay, so you get only one solution, which is one sixty nine comma two fifty six. So this is the answer. Okay, this was the last part was boring, which I just did. I should have probably cut it out of the video, but anyways, I'll just go over the solution once quickly. The idea is, uh, s of m square is will be less than m for most m, so n will be less than m for most m, but m should be less than n. So based on that idea, you try to try to bound bound m first. So the bound you get is m should be less than equal to nine ninety nine, and then since m is less than this, s of m should be have some maximum. So you get s of m square has some maximum, which means n has some maximum. So now you improve on the maximum of m. Now you have gotten a strong maximum that m comma n is less than twenty three square, and you know that m and n are squares. So you just case bash on these squares, and like this case bash takes hardly five minutes, not much to do. So yeah, after this case bash, you get the answer is one sixty nine comma two fifty six. Nice problem. Like I like the bounding idea, but not the bash part, obviously. So yeah.